Hi guys, um, today I will do a video about auto input. I will tell you how to set it up and how to use it properly. I have already made a video on this app, but um, I think I could do better. So I just will do another version of it. Uh, anyway, before we start, I want to let you know that I have this uh, Tasker Projects website where you can order any custom Tasker projects. You can think of anything and I will create it for you. I can think of, for example, sending messages or basically anything you can think of. I can automate in Tasker and create it for you. That's what this website is about. Let's go back to my phone. Firstly, I will install the app and after it's installed, I will open it. I will allow everything that this app asks for. Uh, I will allow notifications, yeah, uh, I will click OK on this. After you open it for the first time, you will see the button that unlocks this application. You will need to click that to unlock it fully. It costs like $2 or something like that. And without unlocking it, you will not have full access to this app. So it's uh, really important to unlock it, okay? After you open it, uh, you will need to enable the application. So let's first click on this and click on OK. We will need to allow accessibility service. After I click OK, I will go here. This is different on some phones, but always you have like downloaded apps or installed apps or something here in this menu. So we will click on that and you will search for auto input here. So I see it right here and you will enable accessibility. Then you will just go back. As you can see, it's successfully enabled. So now the thing we need to do is do a few more permissions. So I will go like this to app info. You can also go here through settings. It's also possible. And here you will allow few things. So at the first we will go to battery and we will need to select unrestricted access. Uh, that means that this app won't get killed in the background, which is uh, really important. Uh, then I will allow appear on top and I will also allow change system settings. Mm, okay, and then I will go to permissions. And as I can see, there are no more permissions that I could allow. So that's basically everything, I think. Now how to use it? I will open Tasker. So I will create a new task and let's create a new action and here you will need to select plugin and here you will need to select auto input. As I say, if you have any project idea and you feel like you can do it on your own, I will be happy to help you and I can create the task for you. So let's, let's try actions version two always. You will need to click this edit button, okay, and click back button, okay. Now you need to set actions to perform. You will select yes because you need help to set it up. Wait for element to appear and you will find it on the screen. So right now we can, we can try to position this on some button that you want to click. This, this for example. So I will, I will click on this blue box to confirm. And as, I can, as, as you can see, the first element is, is the element I want to click. So I will click on it. And I will click on it based on the text, more options, and I will click OK. And I will click first found. And we can test it out also. Oh. Actually, this is only the wait for element, so this, will, this won't do anything if you test it, so I will click no. Add more actions, and click, and find. And we can test it out. As you can see, it really clicked on this menu. I will just click no. We'll go back to Tasker. I'll click this tick icon, accept button. And so if I run it right now, it will just wait for the element to appear. Oh, actually it clicked right here because this has the same the same text in it. So uh, there are more conditions that you would need. But it would, as you can see, it would click because it clicked right here instead of in the app because it was sooner 
uh, it was sooner on the screen. Uh, you know, I think you get the point. So this is the quick tutorial. Uh, you can also create some profile with it. Uh, I explained what what are profiles, tasks, and scenes on my on my other video, so you can take a look at that. So I think uh, I, I will end the video right here. Uh, I will repeat myself one one more time. Uh, if you want any task or projects, visit this website, and I can create it for you. It can be anything. You can contact me simply. I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day.